And this is my trailer. I only actually use it twice a year to put our rib in and take it out. And if you're like that, then you're gonna really wanna do an inspection each time you use it, make sure it's road worthy and road safe. If you use it all the time, you're gonna be doing these little checks more often. And the three things you wanna check out every time, you just do a quick inspection, doesn't take long, but you wanna look at the wheels, the wires, and the where the boat goes part. Also known as the bunks. Don't email me and say that that's not the proper term. Even though it is, because I said it on TV, which means it's legit. All right, starting with the wheels, you're gonna wanna make sure that they're inflated to the right pressure, that the tread and the bearings and everything looks like they're in good shape. Uh, for the wires, you're gonna wanna do a visual inspection, make sure there's no fraying. And when you connect them, always, always, always check the lights, check your brake lights, and that your turn signals are working properly. And the where the boat goes part, these bunks. Most of the time, uh, if you get a, let's call it more affordable trailer, uh, you're not gonna have those fancy plastic rollers. They're gonna be wood wrapped in some sort of kind of carpeting thing. You wanna make sure they're not rotten. So give it a good pull. Don't, don't be gentle with it and just kind of touch. You're putting a heavy boat on here. You wanna know that it'll hold it uh, before you get on the highway. And the last step before you actually launch or haul out is you wanna do a visual inspection of the ramp itself. And I'm not worried about the optics and what's offshore. This isn't particularly pretty backdrop, but the ramp itself is in great shape. It's double wide. It looks like it's got a nice, long, gentle slope. Uh, often you'll find a ramp will tell you where the concrete slab ends. If it doesn't, just be extra cautious going in because it doesn't go on forever. Eventually it'll drop. And with hundreds of boats every summer, revving their engine to get up on the trailer, it can dig out sometimes a couple feet deep down there. And if your wheels go off the end, it can be hard to get out, which is why a nice other touch I noticed at the top of this ramp is they have anchors put in that you could attach a winch to to get the trailer out or something like that if you need to. But we're not going to worry about that because we have a small boat and we're going to be smart about it. So trailer's in good shape, ramp's in good shape. Now we got to get the trailer to here which is terrifying for a lot of people, but I have a tip that'll make it easier. When you turn the wheel to the right and your car starts backing up towards the right, it actually pushes your trailer to the left. And it's natural to panic or overthink or just get confused. It's not really intuitive. So to simplify, drive from the bottom when backing up. And by that, I mean, when you pop it into reverse, grab the bottom of the steering wheel. So when your wheel turns to the left, for example, the bottom of the wheel is going in the opposite direction, to the right, just like your trailer will go. Simply push the bottom of the wheel the direction you want your trailer to move, and you can direct it where you want. A question that often gets asked is how far down should you back it up? And that's one that you can't really answer without a whole bunch of questions and follow-ups. How big's the trailer? How steep's the ramp? How big's the boat? What I like to do for comfort is have the top of the beds just out of the water so I can see it. You're gonna need a little bit of effort to get the boat on there, but it'll settle in nicely. You really can't do this without getting your feet wet, but sometimes if it's cold or something like that, you wanna maybe avoid it, but don't count on it. I got my father-in-law is gonna bring it in and not unlike docking, there's no rush. You gotta be confident with what you're doing, but you can see it's settled into the bed there a little bit. I'll do a segment later on how to secure and haul out by trailer, but I'll be facing a family mutiny if I take this boat out of the water. So I'm gonna re-release Gramps into the wild. This is some classic trailer and release stuff right here, folks. 